Hello, this is Joshua for Frost Dragon Designs, and today I'd like to talk to you about my Scorpio Zodiac Cat Hard Enamel Pin. This pin is part of Series 4 of my larger Black Cat RPG collection. In Series 4, I based the first 12 pins off of the 12 astrological signs of the Western Zodiac. This pin was inspired by Scorpio, the Scorpion. So let's get into the design. So you can see from this very quick sketch that the basic idea was a chimeric creature that was half kitty, half scorpion. There was no concept for the costuming or what class this might be or anything ahead of time. I think I just thought, scorpion kitty, nailed it. And then I moved on to the next sketch, figuring that this one would kind of design itself as I worked on it. After all, the most defining feature of this design is the scorpion body underneath of the kitty torso. What I find so funny about that, looking back on it now though, is if the scorpion was so important, why didn't I look at reference pictures before I did this sketch? Because even in the sketch and uh, up through this video up to a point near the end, you'll notice that I only have three sets of legs, which is incorrect. Scorpions are actually arachnids and they have four full sets of legs in addition to their pincers. Worry not though, entomologists, I did correct this before we got to the end of the design. Scorpio is actually one of three chimeric designs in series four, uh, along with Sagittarius and Pisces. Sagittarius is a centaur, Pisces is a mermaid. Now for all of these designs, I'm using a kitty torso instead of a human torso because black cat RPGs, but functionally these are the same concepts as their classic mythology counterparts. And while scorpion men are not as well known in pop culture as centaurs and mermaids are, they are featured heavily in ancient Babylonian myth. So this isn't something that I came up with on my own. These, these creatures have existed for thousands of years in mythology. The only part I can really take credit for is the black cat anthropomorphic torso aspect. Something that I kind of find funny about these chimeric creatures, though, overall, is typically what happens is... You know, we take an animal, we take its head off, and we put a human torso on top of it, which I find is, you know, very strange if you think about it. It's like double torso, which means leads to having a lot of limbs. Uh, you know, centaurs have six limbs. They have all four of the horse limbs, and then the top two arm limbs for the torso that's stacked on top where the horse's head would be. It's a similar thing happening here with the scorpion, only it's a lot more limbs involved because there's the eight legs for the scorpion plus the two pincers plus their tail is kind of like a limb plus the two limbs on the torso so that's like 13 limbs total lucky 13 here on, on scorpio now in addition to the actual scorpion body i did need to put some effort into figuring out what the torso was going to be like I early on was thinking, you know, maybe this they could have like a spear or something like that, a reach weapon. But then I got to thinking about it and I was like, why would they really need like a weapon like that when they already have the natural weapons of the pincers? So that got me thinking that I could probably do the torso as some sort of a caster. And I just kind of liked the idea of it being like a warlock or a priestess or something of that nature. Something that felt soft and kind of feminine and kind of balanced out the monstrous qualities that the scorpion body was bringing to this design. And that was kind of the same line of logic as to why I ended up going with the yellow and pink kind of color scheme here with the priestess aspect, because I, was, I tried a lot of different colors, as you'll see throughout this video, but I ended up settling on that because, again, it kind of countered the monstrous feeling of the scorpion by having the lighter colors. So this is about the point in the design process where I finally decided to go back and actually look at some reference photos of scorpions. Uh, you can see I've started putting the additional set of legs in to make sure that that's correct. Uh, I'll also start doing a, another little bit of detailing on the abdomen to show the segmentation there. I play around with the colors a little bit. Um, and as I start making it darker, I kind of wanted to figure out how to bring some additional color into it again. So, you know, the poison area on the tail as well as on the pincers, I bring kind of a deep red in. It's not a really poppy color, but I think it adds enough just to make it not feel all dark and shadowy. 
So then it was just, you know, trying a different headpiece for a second before I went back to the hood, and then some little bits of cleanup here and there, just to make sure that the design would be nice and smooth for the manufacturing process. I hope you enjoyed seeing the process for this particular pin design. If you did, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll have a new video every week for another design. Sometimes it's Black Cat RPG stuff. Sometimes it's Cute Cat Pin Club. Sometimes it's just something new that I'm releasing. Thank you so much for your time, and have a great day.